Josh is getting tangled. Oh my god. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope y'all are having a great motherfucking planty day. So today we're just gonna keep it really chill and just do some plant chores. So if you have any plant chores you need to get done, feel free to complete them while you watch this video so we can like get them done together or whatever. But if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Friday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely check out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. Also, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment on this video. It really helps my channel out and I'd also really appreciate it. But anyways, let's just get right into these plant chores. All right, so I don't know exactly when y'all are seeing this, but... All right, so we're gonna start off with just some repotting. So the first plant we're gonna be doing that to is my Stromanthe Trio Star. Um, I don't exactly remember the last time I showed her on my channel, but she just been chilling. But she has been growing kind of slow lately, so I did just want to put her into a self-watering setup. Y'all already know, and if you don't, I made a whole video about this, so if you haven't seen it, why not check it out? But basically, we're going to be putting her in this big ol' mason jar, and hopefully she will love life and grow a little bit faster. And if she doesn't, that's okay too, but I feel like she's going to be really happy in this setup regardless, so let's get started. So first things first, let's go ahead and put our rocks on the bottom of the jar. I just have these like big ol' river rocks. These were the only things I found that we're going to be able to work today, so... But I'm pretty sure they're going to work just fine. Anyways, let's go ahead and put some in here. All right, now let's go ahead and take her out of the pot that she's already in. So I've not checked the roots on this girly in a while. So let's see what we got to work with. And honestly, I'm just going to put the dirt she's already in back into my soil mix because she hasn't been potted in it for too long. So it should still be good to use. Anyways, let's go ahead and get her out of here. So at first glance, it's looking like the roots are doing pretty good. And then on this little baby plant, looks like it has a nice little root system as well. I'm not going to mess with them too much. I just want to get them into their new home. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to put a little bit of soil into the jar. I'm basically just reusing the same exact soil she was just in. Now I'm going to go ahead and place her in here. All right, and now that I got her placed in here, let's go ahead and fill up the rest with some more soil. All right, guys, so I think she's pretty much all repotted. Here's what she's looking like. But anyways, let's go ahead and give her a nice, good water. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see the water level or not, but she's just going to be able to drink the water as she pleases. And we just got to water her whenever this little reservoir dries up. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set her aside and we're going to move on to the next plant. All right, next up, we are going to be repotting all of my Syndapsis Argerius propagations. So if y'all don't already know the story behind these, um, basically, I had a really long Syndapsis Argerius that I had since like the start of my collection, but she just was not the prettiest to look at. You could see some of her older leaves on this one right here. The leaves were just like permanently stuck, being curled, and just looking so sad and unsightly. But as you can see, all the new leaves she has been putting out are literally looking perfect, especially on this propagation right here. And they've just been growing a lot in general, so I think they're definitely ready to be potted up together which was the plan from the start and i actually show myself cutting up the mother plant on one of my past videos i'll make sure to link the card for y'all but yeah basically we're just going to be potting all these little plants all together in one big pot so that hopefully i can just have one big full plant again that doesn't look 
crazy. Now I did water these girlies not too long ago, so I hope this isn't too much of a mess. <laughs> and this is the pot we're going to be putting them all in, so I think they should all be able to fit in here pretty snug. Anyways, let's go ahead and add some soil on the bottom. And now I'm just gonna start moving the plants from the pots that they're in into the new pot. All right, now let's unpot another one. She does not want to come out. Oh my God, oh, there she goes. Got some crazy roots up in here. Now she's getting tangled. Okay. Oh my God. All right, now I'm gonna have to try and fit in the third one. Now that I got her all up in here, let's go ahead and add some soil. All right, guys. So I think I pretty much got her all repotted. So everything is pretty crammed in here, but as y'all can see, now she's a really full plant. So hopefully as she grows out, she's just gonna look beautiful and just trail for me really nicely but yeah i'm super happy i did what i did but anyways let's go ahead and give this wadi wadi <laughs> let's go ahead and give this girl a good water as well but now we're all done with her all right next up we're going to be making a moss pole extension for my philodendron silver sword she has come so far and she is really loving the moss pole if you couldn't already tell and the moss pole has definitely helped her because look at these leaves they're definitely starting to get way bigger because before I had her on a moss pole, these were the size leaves she was giving me on the regular. So I'm super proud of how far she has come, but she definitely needs that moss pole extension because as y'all can see, she is starting to get a little bit taller than the pole itself. So let's go ahead and get started. So basically, I'm just going to try and make another little moss pole the same exact size and just stack it on top. I also already made a whole video about moss poles, so if you want to check that out, you can. But anyways, let's just get started. So let's go ahead and cut ourselves a piece. And now that we got our little mesh cut out, let's go ahead and add our moss. So I already got this all prepared for us. So I'm gonna start with just a light layer real quick. And then I do also wanna add bar chips to this moss pole, so, oh, freak. I still don't know if this makes a huge difference with the moss poles, but I just like doing this. Just mix them together a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more moss. All right, and now that we got all of our ingredients in here, let's go ahead and zip tie this all up. All right guys, so I just finished making my little moss pole and now it's time to attach it to my silver sword. So hopefully this just fits on pretty seamlessly and I don't struggle too much. Let's see what happens. So the game plan is to basically just slide the new moss pole over the old one. I just chopped off an aerial root that was growing into the moss. I'm sorry, girl. Please forgive me. All right, so I think the moss pole is pretty attached. She seems pretty sturdy on here, um, but the plant is a little bit top heavy now. So I am just gonna go ahead and grab a support really quick just to put on the back of the moss pole. Watch it, y'all. If it falls, I'm blaming you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Be right back. 
All right, so I went ahead and grabbed this metal rod and I'm just gonna go ahead and place this right behind the moss pole. And now I'm just going to zip tie the moss pole to the support. And there we go, she is all done. So this is what the moss pole extension's looking like. I think it came out looking really good. It literally fit like perfectly on top and the support definitely helps. So if you have a really unstable moss pole, definitely put something behind it or inside of it to support it. But yeah, wish her luck y'all. Oh, it is not 4th of July anymore. Why are they doing fireworks? I didn't even celebrate in the first place. If you celebrated, why? No judgment, but why? Anyways, let's move on to the next chore. All right, guys, so it's actually the next day now, and we're just gonna go ahead and water some moss poles. Anyways guys, that completes our plant chores. I hope you guys had a fun time hanging out with me and you were able to get your own plant chores done. And if not, I hope you are able to just enjoy this video in general. But I'm glad I got these plant chores out of the way because that means I don't have to do any for a while. <laughs> Anyways, if you didn't already know, I'll be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Friday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. You should definitely check out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. Also, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment on this video. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of me, I do have a plant TikTok. It's the same username as here. And I'll also leave it down in the description. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good freaking Wednesday. And I'm going to head out. So I'll see y'all on Friday. Bye.